Hi everybody, today I am bringing you a very highly requested video because I can finally do it now, and that is a guide to fitting your point shoes. Are you in the right size? Are you not in the right size? A lot of you are struggling with this and you hear me say all the time, make sure your shoes fit. So today we're gonna to talk about specifics, how to go get fitted, everything you need to know. The reason I can do this now is because a couple days ago I went to the Suffolk Point Shoe headquarters and talked with Mark and Carrie Suffolk all about point shoes. I learned how to fit them. I learned what you should look for. So I could probably professionally fit you now. It was a crash course in point shoes and I learned more in two days than I've ever learned in my life, <laughs> even as a professional dancer. So I'm gonna give you all of her tricks. She is a master fitter um, and she taught me and now we are going to finally get you guys in the correct fitting point shoes. So first I wanna talk about some things to know and to ask and to say during your fitting. Because my number one tip, guys, is you have to go to a dance store to get professionally fitted. You cannot simply order point shoes online and expect them to fit correctly. Um, because one of the things I learned is that just because you're in a street shoe size of blank doesn't mean you're gonna be in the equivalent in a point shoe. I learned by measuring my feet, and they measured my feet, that my length of my foot is actually a seven and a half, but I'm in an eight and a half street shoe because of the length of my arch. They also measure the length of your arch. And so if you have a longer arch and shorter toes, which is what I have, you're going to be in a bigger size than the simple simple length of your foot. So you can't just go by, oh, well, I think I'm a seven and a half, so I must be a five and a half and a point shoe. You've got to go get measured. They measure the width, they measure the length, they measure everything about your foot and the way you go up to demi point, the way your arch is, all these little things that you can't simply have and measure by your street shoe size. Because also your foot in a street shoe is like this, right? When you go up to point, your heel tucks in. Some people's heels tuck in more than others. Some people's toes expand when they go up to, to point. Some people's compress. So it, there's all these different little things that a point shoe is different than a street shoe. So I wanna start there. So don't go into your point shoe fitting in a store with preconceived ideas, saying, well, I'm definitely in a six and a half because I'm an eight and a half. Let them measure you, <laughs> number one. Number two, be as specific as you can during your fitting. If something feels weird, try and really enunciate that. Don't just say, well, it feels weird or, well, it's too tight. Because as you're gonna see in a minute what I'm gonna show you point shoe specifics, just because a shoe is giving you pressure in a certain way doesn't mean you need to go wider. Sometimes you need to go narrower. I'll show you the difference. Um, so be as specific as you can. Tell your fitter, you know, I'm really feeling pressure on this bone or I feel like I can't quite touch the floor. Um, all these different little things can make or break how you get fitted into a point shoe. So don't be afraid to speak up. If something feels weird, really try and say it because it actually helps the fitter. I got to fit several students while I was there with Carrie and there was one that was so specific with us and it made the world a difference and we put her in the right shoe. A couple of the other ones we'd had, we'd had to kind of ask her questions because she'd say, well, that feels okay. Well, that feels weird. That doesn't help the fitter. So really be as specific as you can. Don't be afraid to speak up and really tell them what it, it's feeling like. My last tip before I show you point shoe specifics is don't come in with any preconceived brand ideas. Well, everybody's wearing Freed, so I have to wear Freed. Well, everybody in my class is wearing Russians, so I have to wear Russians. Be open to trying everything because different shoes are made for different kinds of feet. For example, I have a very wide foot, so I am never gonna do well in a Russian brand of a shoe. No matter how much I think they're pretty, no matter how much I like them, for me, Grishko's never worked, Russian Point's never worked, simply because they are made for very narrow and tapered feet. And as we have learned, I don't have that. <laughs> I was in a shoe that was four sizes too narrow uh, when I was dancing for a while. So don't kind of get into, well, um, I have to be in Grishko's. 
put all of that aside because guys, the whole point of getting a point shoe is to get the shoe that works best for you, not for the rest of your class. If you don't look good in a Grishko, why are you going to wear a Grishko? If you don't look good in a block, block, especially some of them are a bit squarer shoes, so they're for more square-toed and wide-footed people, why would you want to wear a, a wide shoe if you have a tapered foot if it's not going to look good? You know what I mean? The whole point of wearing point shoes is for someone to look at your feet and not care about, oh, it's a Grishko, oh, it's a Freed, oh, it's this, oh, it's that. You want them to look as beautiful as they possibly can, and then it doesn't matter what brand it is. You know what I mean? Now, I was fitted in Suffolk while I was there. I absolutely love these shoes. I cannot recommend them enough. Um, this is the first shoe that I feel actually fits my foot. <laughs> um, and it's because I had to, you know, with the different sizing, I had to get two different widths. Um, Suffolk is the one brand that has nine widths within their lines. So I made double X on one foot and a double X N, which is basically a nearly double X. So it's a little bit uh, thinner on the other foot. Welcome to my world of point shoe problems. So anyway, now I'm going to teach you guys about things to look for in your fitting because I learned it from the master and I want to finally be able to teach you guys what you need to know. Before I show you the close-ups of my feet, one of the things that fitters look for is not only your length and your width, but your arch length. How long is your arch? I'm not talking about how good your arch is. I'm talking about how long. On my foot, I have a very long arch and very short toes. So I need a certain kind of shoe that is not gonna have too long of this part, which is called the vamp. If you have short toes and your vamp is too long, you will never get over your shoe no matter how hard you try. So for me, I needed this shorter vamp. This is the Sonnet by Suffolk. Um, some of their shoes have a little bit longer vamp, some are shorter. This is kind of in the middle. The other thing they're going to look for that you guys don't think about, that I didn't think about, is this. This is called the profile. Some people have a very low profile foot and they need lower and wider. And some people have a very high profile of the foot and they need more compression. So it's either thin and wide or um, high and narrow. And you'll get that by this. And a lot of it is preference. Some dancers like to feel that their, their feet are really compressed and the shoe is holding them. And some like their toes to be a little flatter. That really is a preference. So be sure and tell your fitter, do you want your toes to really feel held? Does the shoe feel like it's too loose and your bones aren't held? Or is it a little too much and you'd prefer to have a little bit lower and flatter profile? That's again something to think about that I didn't realize. So now I'm going to take you uh, over to the bar and show you some of my shoes and what fits and what doesn't. Alright guys, I am going to teach you a trick that will forever change your life. <laughs> Many of you are putting on your point shoes wrong and don't even know it. So do you ever um, put on your shoes and for whatever reason it looks sickled no matter what you do. There's a lot of gaping. Look at the difference. It's just like this is wrong no matter what I do. It's, it's, a, it's big and baggy and sickled. You're putting it on incorrectly. What you're going to do, foot stays parallel. Shoe turns out. You're going to trace your big toe, look, along the side of the shoe. It's pushing it down in there. And then put your shoe on. Now look. Now you are turned out. You are winged automatically. I haven't changed the shape of my foot. But now my shoe is not sickled. And I can pull the drawstring and it'll look beautiful. Watch one more time. What you do, foot stays parallel. Shoe turns out like first position. You trace the big toe along the edge. Look, then you put your foot on. You can even, you know, do one of these. And now you will have shoes that fit and are not sickled and look beautiful. Mine blown. All right, so one of the things they're gonna look for is like I said, the profile on the shoe. I have kind of a medium size profile here. Some people are much flatter through here and some people are much broader. So this is going to determine what style of shoe probably works best for you. So one of the things they're going to look at 
is how you go up to Demi Point. What I want you to watch is right here on me, okay? Excuse the, the dancer feet. So when I go up, my um, metatarsals stay the same pretty much. It's the widest part of my foot. And see how when I go up to, to point, they kind of stay in the same place. The width right here is the same. Some people, when they go up to demi point, this part gets wider. So this will actually expand. Some people, this part will get narrower. It will compress. Mine stay the same. It's still going to be fairly wide. So something that's too tight through here is not going to work for me. Okay? So I need a little bit. There's that wide shoe. Now some people's feet are broadest here and they're then they taper in. So if you're really broad through here and then you have really tapered toes, you're going to want a tapered shoe. Too wide is going to make you sink down and crunch those shoes. And you guys don't have to memorize all of this. Your fitter will help you with this, but I'm just giving you examples. So let me stick on the shoes. Now that we have the shoes on beautifully, uh, what will help is when you do your ribbons and elastic. So ignore that for now. What are the things they're going to look at when you go up? Okay. Just because a shoe fits you down here doesn't mean it's going to fit you on point. So you go up to point, right? They're going to see how much gap you have here, but the main thing they're looking at for now is right about here. Excuse the sickle foot, right there, okay? That's one of the things they're looking for. If your foot is bulging out, if you can see a lot of metatarsals and you're gonna maybe gape out here, it's gonna be too tight. If you have a lot of extra room and you feel like you're sinking, it's gonna actually be too big. However, here is the disclaimer, and this is where people get this wrong all the time. If you're having actual bunion pressure here, if you feel like your bones are being jammed into in those metatarsals, I highly encourage you to go narrower because what's happening, let me show you in a shoe that's too big for me. All right, this shoe is a little too wide for me. What's gonna happen, is right here, I'm not feeling held. I'm feeling like crunch, I feel a lot of pressure. If you feel like you're sinking into your bones, it's too wide, okay? Now, too narrow is actually when we see your bones. So you don't see my bone pop out, but you can see that I'm sinking. I, I feel like I'm. there's way too much pressure there. When it's too tight, you're gonna see bones pop out. This is gonna be like, you're gonna be bulging out of the shoe. You'll know if it's too tight, but the, the common misconception is that if you have bunion pressure to go wider, ask them for a narrower size because what it's going to do is right through here, through this part of your foot, that's, it's going to hold you better. If it's too wide, your toes sink and you're going to put a lot of pressure and actually guys, you're going to go through your shoes faster. You want something to hold your foot, hold your foot. See, I'm just sinking and I'm getting a lot of pressure here. You want something to hold your foot and, and have it look beautiful. Okay. Okay. These shoes fit me really well. I can get right over the box. I can get right over the toe. I don't feel like I'm being jammed down in there. Uh, and yet one shoe is slightly wider than the other one. Okay, one last thing. I don't want to overwhelm you, but going back to the shoe that's too big, it's also too long for me. So what they're also going to look for is the uh, insole length. Turning to the back, this shoe lines up perfectly. Look, it lines up perfectly with my finger. This shoe, which is too wide, see how this sticks out? and I, it doesn't line up perfectly, this shoe is way too long for me. Way too long, you see that? This one, it's better from this side, lines up perfectly with my heel. The other way they're gonna test to see if your shoes are too narrow, I don't have one that's too narrow for me, but are your shanks twisting? On a shoe that's too narrow, again, these are both okay, the, sh the shank is literally gonna be out like this. Okay, a shoe that's the right width will be correct.
Okay, that's another thing they're gonna look for. If your shanks are twisting off your feet, too narrow. It's really hard to tell if they're too wide. This is the foot that's too wide. But see, it's not perfectly lining up with my heel. See, so if the shank lines up with your heel and it's the same length as your heel, it's right. If it's too long, sticks out, and twists, it's not correct. So if you're totally confused, guys, don't worry about it. This is something that professional fitters all know, and they will work with you to find the right shoe. But the biggest advice I can give you is to be as specific as you can and to tell them what works and what doesn't and don't go in with any preconceived ideas. You can really mess yourself up that way. So go in with an open mind, be willing to be fitted and to listen to what they say. Remember, if you have pressure in your metatarsals, doesn't necessarily mean you need to go wider. That's the biggest misconception. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will do more specific point shoe videos if you like. Thank you so much to Suffolk for teaching me all this. I never knew any of this, to be honest. And I'm so happy that I can now impart all of what I learned to you guys. If you missed my video on my story of my time at SAB, uh, it's right down there. You can click it to watch. Love you guys so, so much, and I will see you next time.